眼。咏春嘅权利法度系对我处世做事做人有好大嘅影响。你冇可能淨係拉琴嗰一剎那係放鬆，但係你轉個頭放多一個琴，其實你個人好崩緊嘅。練琴又好，練詠春又好，應該係個人平靜落嚟咯 ，peaceful， 我覺得係咁樣。頭幾堂之後咧，咁我就發覺功夫原來可以係咁簡單，可以係咁直接嘅。人嘅煩惱通常因為太多嘢。學咗詠春之後咧，我就識得將多餘嘅嘢攞走啦。I was introduced to Wing Chun because my father loves Wing Chun so much and named me Wu Wing Chun. When I draw, just like Wing Chun, there's the technical piece. You have to draw it out first. Then you kind of let your creativity and you let your energy flow. And with art. That's where the paint comes in, and you mix different colors, and you really make it beautiful. And I think, in my personal life, that's where it's helped me the most. This art is very about feeling. Wing Chun is about using feeling to do it. Of course, you have to go to art school, that is, you have to go to art school first. The art side to the art is called art school. 大家經歷過好多唔同嘅需求，但係我哋往往要作出決策嘅時候咧，我哋需要自己有一個底線，我邊啲嘢係唔會做，邊啲嘢係需要做嘅。咁依個亦都係詠春嘅法度啦。各位朋友，我係羅康瑞。我哋而家喺佛山嶺南天地，佛山係詠春發揚光大嘅地方。我哋希望今次拍依個特輯咧，係可以將詠春嘅精要、詠春嘅法度係介紹俾大家。因為我自己學習過詠春之後咧，係做人做事對我自己有好大嘅幫助。佛山市係位於中國嘅南部，係詠春一代宗師葉問嘅故鄉。叶问一生致力将咏春发扬光大，而家喺世界任何一个角落，我哋都可以揾到咏春嘅足迹。师傅，我十五岁跟何金明师傅学习咏春，何师傅系叶问嘅入室弟子，我师弟雷明辉。佢而家喺佛山、澳門同埋香港傳授詠春拳法。好，可以開始玩啦。開頭冇乜特別有咩興趣嘅，其實一開始咗學，咁師傅會講下啲用法啊，講下詠春啲法度，咁就覺得誒好、呃、合理啊，好多方法好巧妙啊，咁就開始即係有啲上癮啦。我哋不斷重複練習每一個動作，好似小念頭練習嘅時候，我哋動作係好緩慢嘅。缓慢系学习放松同埋控制我哋嘅身体，因为咏春拳法系非常科学化嘅，标准正确嘅位置系非常重要，所以我哋尽量放松全身嚟练习每一个动作，然后将呢啲动作潜移默化成为我哋身体嘅惯性动作。喺日常生活里边，我哋未必需要用到武术同其他人去搏斗，但系我哋总会遇上不同嘅人生角力。无论喺家庭生活或者工作上，当面对各种冲击嘅时候，我哋能够运用咏春嘅法度，我哋就能够控制自己，控制对手。呢、这个就系咏春嘅精要。系需要嘥少少时间去磨练嘅。好嘅師傅通常會俾啲時間你磨練咯，根基好嘅時候咧，你個進步係無窮無盡嘅。學習詠春係需要經過長時間艱苦嘅鍛鍊，先由小念頭開始，然後係尋橋同埋標誌呢三套套路。不過，如果你唔能夠掌握詠春嘅權理法度，呢啲套路都只係一啲空泛嘅動作。
泳春其中一个最重要嘅锻炼就系一百零八式嘅木人桩法。呢一百零八式係融合咗小念頭、尋橋同埋標子嘅手法、步法同埋腿法。只有當你精通咗詠春嘅法度之後，你先至可以將呢一百零八式全面去發揮。而家雷师傅就喺度示范紧咏春嘅木人桩法，无论佢身处喺边一个位置，佢都能够保持自己嘅中线同埋位置。日常如果你要用嘅时候，个法度就喺呢度去发挥出嚟咯。啊，即系好似譬如阿雷师傅咁，佢一过嚟啊，我哋攞桩，我想攞开中线，攞唔到，咁我又攞翻而家中线啊，佢又攞我中线啊，我我咪蚀晒俾佢咯个位。大家可以睇到，雷师傅系好识得发劲嘅，攞到个准确嘅位置。当佢攞到对手嘅中线嘅时候咧，对手系会有好大嘅压力。喺数学同物理上，中线系即系比较短嘅距离去到对方嘛。即系大家都喺个危险区里面，即系你喺外边入嚟，同埋个直线去，系咪个距离会短咗？你个原位入，同埋个直线入，飙出去之後，呢、这個係呢、这個角度係斜噶嘛，有有嘢嚟，基本上好似一個三角咁會扇開嘅。咁所以我哋搶邊個搶到中線，邊個就着數咯。好多人以為詠春好中意打頭，其實一般對手多數中意打我哋個頭。佢打我頭，我自然一接咧就喺翻個頭去，因為我哋需要平衡啊嘛。譬如你直除打我頭，我好自然我用直除穿翻出，我攞呢條中線，你個直除咪扇咗去側邊咯。咏春嘅權利係以依一個中線為主，依、这個係我哋做人咧一千年都唔會變嘅。如果我哋做人冇嗰個宗旨，我哋冇辦法做成事，自己亦都係唔會做成一個有作為嘅人。譬如話，我而家每一日嘅時間二十四小時，我係唔夠用嘅。咁但係我先定咗我的中線，我係咪要先照顧咗我屋企先咧？我係咪需要時間去做我生意上嘅工作呢？朋友嘅時間係要幾多呢？我安排好咗之後，我知道嗰個就係我自己嘅中線啦。喺任何一場搏鬥裏面，我哋都需要保持清晰嘅頭腦。依、这、一個拳手只係用緊佢嘅盲力去進攻對手。而佢嘅对手就保持冷静，轻松到好似唔使用力咁，就可以将佢去击倒啦。喺生活里面，我哋经常会面对各种各样嘅难题，就好似一场搏斗，要面对好多唔同嘅挑战。如果我哋唔能够保持冷静，就冇办法做出正確嘅决定。我初初學詠春嘅時候咧，咁師傅要我對住個鏡去學嗰個小念頭，去練習嘅小念頭，亦都要我扎馬去到成四十五分鐘，啊隻手係喐得好慢嘅。咁我初初硬係唔明白點解需要咁樣做呢。小念頭係第一日就要學嘅嘢嚟，亦都係最主要嘅。一來練控制咯，亦都係練埋我哋個位置，因為初初練要攞條中線，咁亦都係練將個身體變成一個整體
之後嗰啲套路會轉腰馬啦，佢哋係整體轉嘅。如果開頭小心頭練得唔好，就好難整體轉啦。就算係攤手啦，睇落好容易啫，好慢慢出。但係如果練得唔好，其實會扯咗個身出嚟嘅。你控制唔慣嘅時候，咁扯除更加有有個高速打出去，高速打出去，但係我個身點解都唔會拉出去咧？因為呢度已經慣咗控制，將佢控制成一個整體啦。咁到呢個整體控制得好，我轉嘅時候，我先用嘢整體去轉啊嘛。如果你個心唔靜，根本冇可能做。咁你靜嘅時候，你同對手對打就好著數啦。你平靜，你個直覺先至快嘅。只有保持平静嘅心境，放松身体，我哋先至可以喺危急嘅情况之下，作出果断正确嘅抉择。小念。头将咏春各种基本动作分开锻炼，包括二字钳羊马、摊手、绑手、伏手，呢啲动作系咏春非常重要嘅基本功。我哋要反复练习，直至掌握动作嘅位置同埋精要。但系大家睇见呢啲咁简单嘅动作，会唔会觉得佢哋冇乜实际嘅用途呢？咏春拳法透过一啲特定嘅动作。将人体嘅潜能发挥到最尽，呢位系李博士，佢系嚟自香港中文大学运动表现及力学实验室，佢会用一连串嘅实验去测试各种咏春嘅动作，俾大家可以理解到咏春嘅法度同埋个实用性。今日嘅测试入边咧，我哋会睇一睇师傅二字钳羊马嘅足底压力啦，同埋重心嘅分布。咁我哋會為佢裝上呢一個鞋墊，佢呢個鞋墊咧有九十九個傳感器，我哋可以睇到師傅做唔同動作嘅時候個壓力嘅分布。咁喺實驗嘅開始，我哋會叫師傅去扎一個二字鉛羊馬三十秒啦，然之後佢係會打一個日字衝拳。咁喺實驗嘅結果入邊咧，會見到有一個圓圈咧，代表咗佢嘅重心嘅位置，越鮮豔嘅顏色咧，亦代表足底壓力越大。師傅去做埋日字衝拳嘅時候，我哋見到個足底壓力咧，都依然係好平均咁分佈喺腳板後半橛部分，而個重心仍然喺腳踭位置。咁即係代表咗咧呢個二字鉛羊馬嘅穩定性咧係十分之好。如果你出拳同你平時嘅重心唔一樣，即係話你其中一樣個重心有錯，重心啱嘅，不論你做咩動作，重心應該係一樣。如果我平衡唔好，咁我嗰個連貫性就會影響咗，包括我個進退、左右移動，同埋拳腳嗰個連貫性都會有影響。譬如攤手啦，基本上都係喺裏邊燒外來嘅力量。我當然我哋練習就擺喺中間，但係用嘅時候，我哋當然唔係咁對住啦。因為譬如喺側邊嚟嘅力量，我哋會我哋叫潮形啦，就係、是、對住對方。其實攤手係向前嘅，對住對方變咗我哋嘅直力去抵消外來嘅橫力。攤手係截擊一啲正面嘅攻擊啦。咁攤手如果我哋嘅動作擺歪少少，我哋嘅對手咧就好容易入咗嚟噶啦。咁所以我哋講嘅精細就一定要擺啱嗰個位置。咁你再強嘅攻擊咧，我哋都接得住。咁今日咧，我哋就會睇一睇師傅擺個攤手係正確啦，同埋唔正確嘅姿勢，睇下佢嘅肌肉嘅活動情況。麻煩你擺正個攤手嚟度下肌肉嘅力量。OK， 咁下一個咧，我哋會做一個錯誤嘅攤手動作，咁你可以隨時開始啦。咁喺個實驗結果，你會睇到咧，擺正個攤手咧，師傅喺呢個前三角肌入邊咧，係會用少大概十個 percent 嘅力量啦。如果就咁睇個數據咧，相差只係得十個 percent。係。咁但係實際嘅效力
遠遠超過呢個數因為如果唔正確嘅攤手，連個重心都影響埋。但係如果我手正確咧，不但止我唔會受佢力，仲你會受我好大嘅影響力。呢、這個係正確嘅攤手，係啦。你會成個人唔受力㗎。好，咁跟住而家就試下唔正確嘅攤手會點啊？我一樣用實力嗱，我會食翻你。有一次師傅會教我咯，佢話啊呢、這個這個角度係點樣，就會有幾大嘅唔同咯。我就發現哇，好特別喎！所以咧，我嘗試去用一種詠春嘅諗法去拉琴，咁我發現咧，我係大聲咗拉啦，同埋我係唔用力多咗嘅。好多人睇就覺得話：，喂，係咪嗰個拳如果係勾拳啊，嗰啲會會力量大啲咧？但係依個就係詠春嘅法度啊，因為我哋係攞咗位置之後先至去攻擊嘅。大部分嘅拳法咧，係要將個拳頭拉去後邊。然後個身體轉咁打出去嘅，永春拳咧就為咗要做到一種效果就好快到，人哋捉唔到嘅，所以我哋唔拉弓嘅，我哋擺喺度就出去啦。咁今日咧，我哋就會做一啲生物力學嘅分析啦，去睇一睇發出日字衝拳嘅肌肉次序。師傅身上面咧已經貼咗好多嘅肌電感應器啦，咁就可以睇到佢肌肉嘅活動。可以望一望啦，個實驗結果咧，我哋會見到啲力係由左腳開始傳上嚟嘅。首先由左邊小腿啦，跟住做左邊大腿，然之後去右邊嘅側腹肌，跟住上到去胸肌，然之後去傳去前膊，跟住最後咧就係三頭肌同埋前臂咁樣發出嚟。喺臨中把之前嘅零點零五秒，師傅先係捉緊佢嘅前臂啦。一中把之後嘅百分之十五秒，咁師傅咧就放鬆咗佢嘅前臂肌肉啦。咁呢一個咧可以見到係、呃、去到最後一刻，佢先去捉緊佢嘅拳頭咯。喺頭先嘅實驗咧，我哋睇到你臨中把之前嘅百分之五秒嘅時候，你先揸緊拳頭；而中咗把之後咧，百分之十五秒嘅時候，你已經放鬆咗啦。咁、呃、有冇原因嘅咧？咁樣做？如果我太早收緊個拳，即係話我啲肌肉太早收緊咗，會阻礙咗個速度。嗯、如果冇速度嘅拳，唔會有殺傷力㗎。咁、嗯、係最嬲尾臨到嗰下，我先將啲力量集中喺個拳嗰度打出去，先至有用咯。打完之後亦都盡快放翻鬆，因為收翻嚟嘅力咧，會幫助出第二拳嗰個力嘅、嗯。所以理論上嚟講，應該第二拳係重過第一拳。你拉到咁後，已經掹緊咗隻手啦，咁啲力點會鬆到出去咧？好似踩單車攬住個 break 咁，你點會發得好？邊有速度咧？我哋要打重都係靠腰馬。靠借個地打上去啊嘛，咁就唔使唔使撲出嚟啦。其實咩拳都係整體去咯，即係就算直拳，如果用基本上都係攞腰馬打嘅。嗯、有啲人話：哦，永春嘅拳又深化，咁咪要走翻中深口先打。咁其實呢個已經唔係直線，已經唔係直接啦。基本上我哋譬如喺呢度隻手，我就會我手就甚至出到嚟呢度都好啦。我就會喺呢度呢條直線打入去嘅，我就喺呢度打翻入中線。咁呢個就係好直接嘅嘢咯。有一次我手已經擺咗喺出面嘅啦，初初冇諗住打佢嘅，咁點知佢飆入嚟想打，咁大概嚟講係咁多到咯。我就喺呢度咁樣，佢就一塊板咁跌咗，暈。沉桥系小念头之后嘅一个练法。小念头出手嘅时候，个身要唔喐，咁我哋先练习咗点样将个身体控制成一个整体。到沉桥要转马嘅时候，我先至可以整体一齐去转。上名講得好清楚咯，未有橋嘅時候要揾橋，冇咩意思咯。兩手一接住好條橋，咁相信係咁樣嚟咯
調轉，多數都係同一個方向嘅力量。譬如手轉嘅力量同腳轉嘅力量，基本上都係平衡咁去。但係標子可能會有啲唔同嘅方向去轉咯。譬如我嘅手可能喺上面落而要轉嘅，尋橋就只係咁平轉嘅啫。所以小誒、呃、標誌嗰個轉碼嘅難度又會高咗啲咯。好，今日咧我就簡單咁解釋下標誌先嚇。標誌係乜嘢咧？誒、呃、有啲人講就話係攻擊嘅套路，但係我哋覺得咧就係救手嚟嘅，唔係叫你睇。呢一下嘅輸贏係你點樣去救翻？你可能你已經失咗啦，俾人撳咗，我點樣甩翻？點樣救翻自己？師傅圈呢下喺實戰嗰度點樣用得到咧？平時開馬就咁撥開啊！而家點解要圈開咧？因為我哋將來有啲馬上咧係要向中線行入去嘅。譬如我標馬嗰時候你可以走嘅。師傅點解你可以變個步變得咁快嘅？因為其實我只係兩步啊嘛，因為我有一個中軸。你喺外圍走，你要走好多步。我只要兩步，已經由呢度走到嗰個度。佢呢下咧，就係練我哋喐慣呢啲手腕啦。喐呢個手指其實係加強咗練指嘅啲方法嚟。你見呢度唔喐嘅，呢個手臂唔喐，只係喐個手腕。你都係練到我哋要控制住呢度咯。只係只係手腕喐，前臂係唔會周圍擺嘅。標子個名喺禪宗嗰個標月之子演變出嚟嘅。標月之子係見月望子啊，即係望望個月，唔係唔係睇住隻手指，係睇後嗰下，唔係睇你而家呢一下嘅輸贏。呢個就係連脱咗之後，拉埋落去打呢個作用啦。所以脱完隻手，呢隻手其係基本上係練緊沉落嚟，亦都係練即係等於攞對方嘅手落嚟，呢隻手再打。譬如俾你封咗爭啦，你點打都好啦。咁我呢度甩咗，就可以救翻啦。又係由封爭俾人，你可以打啊。基本上就喺呢度穿咗，攞翻走。呢個咧就係隻手喺咗另外一邊啦。你有手喺呢度入，我呢度急去救翻嘅啫。我喺呢邊，我就喺呢邊浸啦。嗯哼。譬如我發錘，俾人標咗埋嚟攬個蛋。轉嘅時候用標子。連個櫃爭啱扭住，扭住用嘅，咁就啱好係由失勢救翻變翻做優勢。有啲時候可能唔知乜嘢手法，俾人逼到可能貼咗啦，冇位走啦，咁可以將呢個帶翻走，再入翻啲錘，亦都可以嘅。嗯，呢個其中一部分嘅自救嘅手法啦。既然我哋攞咗位置，我哋就應該雙手同埋成個身體可以去全部運用嘅。打裝嘅時候咧，全部都係雙手。當然兩隻手一來需要平衡咯，我哋平衡就係我哋自己力量嗰個平衡，因為呢個收翻嚟嘅力係幫出到去嘅力嘅。另一個作用就係將對手攞跌，對手就會撲埋，我哋打嗰下就會應好多咯。兩隻手同時平衡咁用啊嘛，你哨嗰下我就消打合一呢啲叫做攤呢隻手攤呢隻手打同時做咗啦。兩隻手另一個作用咧就係呢隻手。攞你個重心，令你用力挫埋嚟。係，你一你有有力入，啊，你先會挫個人啊嘛。咁呢隻手就唔係淨係燒咁簡單啦，燒同時將你個重心挫埋嚟，令你撞呢個力大咗，即係食呢度力都應咗。啊，或者你呢邊打啦，呢邊打，我已經立咗啦，你邊有機會打嗰只咧？控制咗你嗰個重心啦。咁你跌緊嗰只點打咧？冇錯。如果你勉強打呢只出嚟就仲好，咁啊多隻手俾我打啦。係，即係你擺隻手埋俾我攞多次嘅重心啦，所以兩隻手就係需要咁樣用。如
果係經驗未夠嘅，當你打對手咁短嘅時間，你未必可以貼住對方嘅手去做咯。但係如果做到咧，嗰下就係黐手啦。You work day in and day out on chi sao, on form and on feeling. They said I can't stress that enough. The feeling part is the most important part because it's getting used to the fighting distance and then being able to react to the person attacking you or you attacking the person or looking for openings. 靠雙手嗰個感覺而去做出一啲反射動作，啊呢個係通過一個鍛鍊先可以達到呢種行為嘅。My father often tells me, in sticky hands, you're supposed to be relaxed, but it's often like a wet towel. So if you think about a towel, it's very light, but once you soak it with water, there's a density to it. It sticks to you. It's dripping. There's a lot of character to it. Many people may not remember that you have to hold your hand. It's like this mode. It's like this. 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 黐手接觸之後，嗰、那個位係好少嘅啫，好細微嘅動作錯已經可以俾人利用到嘅啦。所以你必須先控制到自己先，咁你先可以再控制到對方去。当同人沟通嘅时候，我哋有时会受到负面情绪嘅影响，而唔能够控制自己，令到自己、家人同埋朋友受到伤害。如果你扑身出去打，你一失咗你会跌。呢一种拳，成个重心扑晒出去，一攞你就会扑埋，咁你就同我撞呢场就好嘢。所以盡量都係攞住個重心，要入就就咁入，就咁入，就咁入，就唔好打個身出嚟。有時我哋雖然能夠控制自己嘅身體同埋位置，但係我哋都或者想急於一拳打到對方而失位，同時亦都會過度消耗自己嘅體力。有一場我一個半 round KO 咗對手，但係嗰人已經散曬啦，因為對手又好硬淨，中幾十錘先 KO 到。嗰陣又冇經驗，唔識諗。我今日咧就講講詠春嘅中道嘅嘢。我哋講嘅中線即係形象上嗰個中道。其實我哋用法，譬如用力嘅方法、位置、誒左右手嘅平衡，甚至攻守，都係講緊中道。我平衡去得唔好，呢度去咗先，咁個人就跌前，你個重心就唔好啦。攻擊嗰個力量會減低咗，因為你唔係平去，啲力就唔係直接穿透到入去啦。其實適當就係我哋講嘅中道。譬如你想破埋我呢個時候。啱好啦，但我太遲，你又過咗噶啦嘛。適當嘅時間入，太快太慢都係唔好。其實永春係攻中有守，守中有攻嘅。好多人就話：，我綁手擺到人哋喺下面打你就得，上面打你就得。但我一貼住你就打唔到啦，因為呢個係攻嚟嘅。呢、這個威脅住你係攻住嘅，咁你就唔可以隨便打到啦。我哋可以影影影響咗好多嘢啦。我哋好輕嘅力。而要貼緊咗對方，咁你嘅你嘅感覺自然會好靈敏嘅。對方想喐你已經知噶啦，佢想做乜你都知，你就控制曬佢就可以。I came over to my parents' house and I trained with my father. In the backyard, and it was just us doing sticky hands. The power in which my father gave me and the exercise that I had literally、um, took the energy out of me. And I, I remember at that point, Wing Chun was not just a sport; it was very special to me. If we can train well Wing Chun's techniques, understand Wing Chun's techniques, relax every part of the body, keep your own position and position, Wing Chun's techniques can be fully utilized in Wing Chun's techniques. Wing Chun's techniques can be fully utilized in Wing Chun's techniques. Wing Chun's techniques can be fully utilized in Wing Chun's techniques. 我係會先守住自己個中線，就係、是、我自己基本個底線
，然之後我先至一步一步去爭取更高嘅盈利。咁依啲都係詠春嘅法度，好重要嘅。詠春俾我嘅感覺咧，就好奇妙嘅，因為、呃、我覺得喺二百年前，點解可以有人咁聰明，可以將咁多咁複雜嘅動作經驗？簡化咗佢，然後佢亦都有咁多哲學嘅思想，然後擺埋一齊，變咗一套而家我哋學嘅詠春拳。可能人體咧係有好多潛在咗嘅嘢喺背後嘅，所以我學詠春裏面，我覺得哇，呢件事一定係有好大嘅精神意義喺後面。好多新嘅嘢等住你去發掘咁樣，好好有好有期待咯。期望學嗰啲人真係要古老翻少少咁學咯，要信師傅多啲啊，就唔好成日教師傅點教嗰種。學咗不論你學成點，你真係真心去學過咧，對自己點都有幫助。Say thank you so much for even naming me Wing Chun. You're exactly right. Everything is based on a small idea and grows into something beautiful. And I, and I think when people understand that, there's more to Wing Chun than just fighting. I hope that we can learn this lesson.